Hello boys and girls, well, this afternoon I'm in the wonderful St Ives and it's a grey, well it was a bit sunny earlier and now the sun has decided it doesn't want to play anymore so um, I have to make the best of it. So I'm taking a few photos today um, and I've uh, pressed into use the old flash gun because the light is uh, a bit flat. Occasionally we get a nice little bright bit like above the church behind me there, if you can see that. But um, few and far between. But on a bonus, or as a bonus, there's not many people, which is refreshing for St Ives, as uh, it's usually mobbed. It's uh, probably uh, the biggest honey pot spot in Cornwall um, where all the uh, the good and the famous or not so famous tend to congregate but uh, yeah it's a, a dreary February afternoon just making the most of it really so it looks like the uh, the tide is, is uh, coming in again we've got the wonderful Smeaton's Tower in the end of the pier there I uh, very very rarely come to St Ives in the summer as I say it is mobbed um, but uh, I can't blame people it is a beautiful spot but um, yeah, I prefer to have it to myself like today wonderful So, as I bimble along, behind me there, you can see Godreedy uh, Lighthouse and then along the coast, the wonderful um, towns, sand dunes and beaches, etc. So I'm just taking a bimble around the, um, around the beach at the moment before the tide comes in. There's a few fishing boats which make interesting subjects, but in a moment I'm going to climb the the ladder or the stairs maybe and uh, go and have a look at the old pier and um, get some photographs of the Smeaton's Tower and the uh, fisherman's paraphernalia and uh, oh it seems to be brightening up so um, yeah let's uh, let's go and have a look Probably washing the blood and guts away from the fish they just gutted. Yeah, that's the harsh reality. So I'm on my little tiny um, Osmo pocket camera today. And a uh, handy little tool. I didn't uh, intend to do a vlog of St. Ives, but uh, while I'm here I thought, oh well, I'll take five minutes of video. Show people what it's like 
out of season in the winter and uh, yeah although it's not uh, super busy it's um there's still a few visitors around um a lot of the car parks are free so well, that's um something worth uh, bearing in mind i got my money out went to pay and uh, free until march the 31st in my particular car park anyway so uh, yeah there you go i'll go and check out some of the beaches down here now Hello George, George see you out, you say hello to the camera, come on George, come on George say hello to the camera, oh, oh there he goes, ah George is camera shy, there we are, a quick amble around St Ives, and uh, behind me there God Reavy in the background, so we're on one of the smaller coves in the back of the town, you can see, absolutely stunning. And I'm about uh, a 12 minute drive from uh, my gaff to here, so I feel uh, really uh, privileged to live in such a lovely spot. And over here, what is known as the island, so I'm going to pop up there and have a little Look around up there, go over to the chapel and then make way back to the car. Yep, so there we are. That's um, a little wander around St Ives. Probably getting a bit windy now, so I'll have to sign off. There's a Coast Guard lookout station behind me there, on the headland of the island. Um, we're going over here now to uh, uh, Portsmouth Beach. So. Uh, the wind's getting up a bit, so I've probably robbed the sound off the little camera. But, ooh, that's nice. The sun's come out. <laughs> Always the way. Um, time to go home, and the sun comes out. So. That's Sod's Law, isn't it? All right. Not a lot of people know, I don't think, anyway. There is another Portsmere Beach, but the one that I prefer is a lot more less um, peopley. So, uh, yeah, it's out in the wilds. Needs a bit of effort to get to it, um, but uh, yeah, it's a pleasant uh, place to spend a few hours and um, very peaceful. A bit of solitude away from the madding crowds. Not maddening, as a lot of people say, madding. Anyway, hope you all have a great day, um, and I'll catch you all again soon. Ta ta from Sid TV.